so when you talk about uh, innovation developing countries, often what you're talking about is technology adoption. It's about learning how to get to the frontier um, of, of, the, of technology in the world. Uh, so it's obviously a very important part of the growth process and development process. It's also been found to be very slow. People have looked at this process um, carefully found that it's often very slow, surprisingly slow, even among manu larger manufacturing firms in, co in competitive industries, ones you people where you expect to be, to be on top of these things. Um, and so uh, we decided to explore that. We ran an experiment where, um, I think it was the first experiment that's ever been done, where it People actually took a, a new technology and gave it out randomly to some, to some manufacturing firms. Um, in our case, it was a technology for cutting more, more pentagons from rectangular sheets of artificial leather to make soccer balls with soccer ball producers in, in Pakistan. Um, so we ran an experiment, we gave it out, and then we sat back to watch what happened. We were honestly expecting it to be taken up quickly and to look at sort of the channels through which it diffused to other, other firms um, that, that hadn't received the technology initially. Uh, but in fact, uh, firms were very slow. A few firms adopted enough so that we knew what was going on, we knew that it was working, um, but, but many firms did not, and so there was a puzzle there about, about, about why not. Um, and so we started talking to people, first of all, and what they said was, you know, our workers are resisting, our workers don't like it. Uh, and it turns out what the issue was is the workers are paid piece rate, uh, they're just paid per pentagon or per ball. Uh, our technology was slowing them down, even though the reduction in waste um, of the waste of the leather was much more valuable than the increase in, in labor time it required. Even though that was the case, the workers weren't seeing any of those any of the benefits of the reduction in waste. They were just seeing their wages were going down, um, and so they were they were resisting or blocking the adoption of the technology. And so we ran another another experiment where we uh, we explored that. We found that when we gave them a, a, a bonus if they would uh, if they would sort of uh, demonstrate to their owners that the technology worked, then uh, then they were willing to go along. They shared that information, and the firms ended up adopting. Um, so the, what are the, the larger messages of this experiment, uh, so one is that the, the knowledge that workers have um, uh, on the shop floor uh, is important, and if it's not shared uh, with, with owners, uh, with, with management, then that can be a real problem, that can be a real drag on, on technology adoption and, and, and growth uh, more generally. Uh, I think another message is that employment contracts uh, uh, can generate frictions in the, in the you know, in, in, in the in, internal, in, internally in an organization. that. Um, Employment contracts are slow to change. They're costly to change. Okay, it's it's hard once a norm has been established that the contracts work in a certain way, or that the relationships between management and workers work in a certain way. It's sort of hard to change, and they can generate the sort of thing that we saw in our experiment, which was workers don't have an incentive to to adopt technology or to share knowledge in a way that would be that would be best for the firm. Government might matter here in a couple of ways. One is there's really an absence of extension, what we call extension services for a lot of these firms in agricultural context. Often there's extension services, guys who go around and and and, and teach other people people about best practices. And that just doesn't exist among the soccer ball producers in Shalcut. If it, if it did, then maybe our technology would have diffused faster, right? Because guys would have gone around and said, you know, actually there's this new, new kind of dye, new way of cutting pentagons. Um, it, would have been, it would have been communicated more quickly. Um, so, you know, we, we're, we're talking to the government of, of, uh, of Pakistan or of Punjab, this, this province in Pakistan, about ways that we might um, be able to encourage innovation, encourage technology adoption. Um, but it's a, it's a complicated process. There's lots of, there's lots of uh, difficult steps in the in the process of doing that.